What's up, fam? I'm JoJo, and today I am very curious about this new movie called Missing. Now, Missing is a spiritual sequel to the 2018 movie Searching. When her mother disappears while on vacation in Colombia with her new boyfriend, June's search for answers is hindered by international red tape. Stuck thousands of miles away in Los Angeles, June creatively uses all of the latest technology at her fingertips to try and find her before it's too late. But as she digs deeper, her digital sleuthing raises more questions than answers and when June unravels secrets about her mom, she discovers that she never really knew her at all. So the whole gimmick of this movie is that it's told through computer screens and iPhone screens and uh, FaceTime, WhatsApp, ring doorbells. Uh, basically, it's all told through technology. Now, that might turn some people off because they don't want to watch those footage type movies uh, because at one point they were extremely popular. But do not fret this movie delivers. Now the first movie, Searching, it's the same concept. It, it honestly won a lot of people over. Uh, they use the technology aspect as well and I mean honestly it keeps you attentive the whole time. You do not need to see Searching to understand Missing. Again, it's it's not a direct sequel. Um, it's its own story. I absolutely recommend that you do see Searching. Um, it's honestly a, a true gem of a movie. So in Missing, our main character uses technology in ways that I probably would have never thought of to use uh, to, to find someone. I honestly walked out a bit more educated with all the tools that the internet could do to, to help you in a scenario like this. Now, I will say some portions seemed a little far-fetched to me, especially when it came to using like free public cameras in different countries. The grand finale seemed a little bit unrealistic, but if you think about it, I guess it could happen. I mean, there's some crazy true life like stories out there that deal with uh, missing people. It's not crazy, crazy far-fetched. It just seemed a slightly unrealistic, but again, this the, the scenario... It could happen. Missing is full of plot twists and turns. We have a handful of characters where you're trying to figure out who could be behind all of this. You have to pay attention to the dialogue, the footage, the phone screens. The team behind this paid special attention to the details. This movie is basically like a crime thriller and you're trying to figure out you're trying to put the puzzle pieces together and try to figure out who done it, which is what I loved about searching and missing. I even sat down at the beginning of this movie and I told myself, okay, let's see if we can figure this out. I had an inkling as to who could be behind all of this, but then the movie just flips the script and man, my jaw dropped. I did not see that finale coming. Truly in disbelief, it it really is a fun thrill ride of a movie. Another aspect of this film that I really enjoyed was the difficult mother-daughter relationship between Nia Long and Storm Reed's characters. You have this overbearing mother who is constantly texting and calling and leaving voicemails to her daughter and she clearly just wants to have space from her. She's extremely protective of her daughter and you can see that there's a rift between them. The audience will honestly find that very relatable. Speaking of mother and daughter relationships, Nia Long and Storm Reed play these characters very well. Uh, like I said, it's relatable, uh, believable. You could feel the, the emotional aspect of their relationship uh, shine through the screen. Watching Storm Reed on screen was very enjoyable as well. She is a great actress who always performs with her heart. Um, anytime you saw her have a small win in this film, you were like, yes! And anytime she lost, you were bummed out with her. I look forward to seeing Storm Reed in many more movies and TV shows because you will see her again. <coughs> the Last of Us. <coughs> Euphoria. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. Overall, this is a great story and I highly recommend seeing it in theaters. You will have fun with it. But let me know in the comments what you think about this film. Who did you initially suspect? And did you see that finale coming? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you all for watching and I will catch you on the next one.